Marshall, I thought I'd make you your own private stream since I got everything set up for this afternoon. So I think I understand you're having a problem making a 3D sketch into a solid. I have a theory. Let's go ahead and open up your DXF. So taking the extrude command, it's not going to let you do anything because they're not, these points don't meet on a coplanar surface, you know, three or more, or excuse me, over three points, you start to potentially define a non-planar surface. So uh, these are thems. Uh, so what um, we need to do is they've kind of hidden the surface uh, workspace in with the design workspace, which makes sense, but it's over here. Um, and the patch tool seems to be working pretty well. Um, if we turn on our history and keep that sketch active until we get to this guy. So it's not really liking this sketch so much. Now, frustrating thing about um, Fusion is I can't edit this. Um, I think let's turn off history and see. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Maybe if we move. Okay, that's pretty dubious. I don't. I'm not so jazzed about fucking with your sketch that way because it could just really break your intent. But let's see if we can use some of the trim tools. I'm trying to avoid bringing this into Rhino. You know I love workarounds, but. We can avoid. Yeah, let's try some trimming. Trim, trim. Yeah, not playing too nice. It's going to be a combination of extension and trimming. Trim. How about can we extend it now? Okay, progress, believe it or not. Well, yeah, I think we're losing too much there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this, or you know, we'll we'll go ahead and open it in Rhino. Just went to uh, File Open and found your sketch. I'm assuming it's in inches. Sorry for another piece of software, but it's how it goes sometimes. So let's hunt down the little culprit, make this bigger. Um, mislect everything and explode it. I'm going to then, with everything selected, I'm going to trim using all the pieces as trim tools and the things that can be trimmed. Click, click. Look at that bastard. Click. And we could bring this back into Fusion, but this right here is going to cause some issues with that network of points trying to make a surface um, or the curves trying to make a surface. So let's, I am going to take a liberty here with your file. Let's fill it that. Okay, if it doesn't want to fill it, let's select everything, join it back, and then let's try fill it. Fill it, fill it. I got this to work a second ago. Uh, okay. Glad I checked that. So it looks like I was filleting the wrong thing. Do it the old fashioned way, huh? Okay. So I just put a tangent arc there. It's the same as a fillet. Um, I'm going to put everything on the same layer. There we go. Cool, cool. I'm going to join everything back together and file export selected. Take everything, call it our shell for Rhino, or let's call it this. Uh, default seems to work fine. Now let's go back to Fusion. We can close you. We're working out. Open. So back to surface, 
We'll do a, we'll do a little time lapse here. It'd be nice if it let you click all of these, but um, looks like we got to make a feature for each of them. Okay, now I know these are just surfaces. Right now, they're not solids. Once we have, I'm going to come back. We'll deal with that hole for the eye or whatever nautiluses have. Nautili? Whatever they have, we'll deal with that later. So, also, this is going to drive me crazy. I'm going to make this fussy fussy. Yeah, we'll cut that eye out later. Let's do extrude. And again, I think we're going to have to do a feature for each now. Um, before we extrude, actually, I want to develop a ground plane of some sort. So let's create a sketch. Where the is our origin? It's over there. I don't know how tall you want these, so I'm going to save this file with history. And I'll let you change that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to construction plane, offset plane. Make an offset plane from this one. And I'm going to make it just huge. Uh, I can let you play with that, but uh, make it three inches. And I'm going to create a sketch on that new plane. I think that was on the new plane. Sorry. Okay. We're gonna make a new sketch just because it seems right. We'll make that a surface. And I'm gonna name that one because we're gonna probably want to differentiate. Cool. Now for extruding, I'm going to put these in their own group. So we're going to make a mess in a second here. One, go. We could pass all the way through and then trim it later. Um, but this will save you a step. I wonder if we could do more. Zero distance. Oh, stupid. Okay. Go back to profile. <laughs> that's uh, that's infuriating. But here we go. Let's do some carpal tunnel. Do object bam. Didn't like that. Two object. Won't do it. Okay. Well, we might have some fighters, then we'll go past. That's weird. Oh boy. What's happening now? Our luck ran out. Make sure we go all the way through. I don't really know what that number is because it might vary for all of them relative. So this is where actually using the handles, I think, is fun and probably the best way to do it. Like, oh, so yeah, that one really took a lot. It's like the Astrodome now, but I want these all to work in the same fashion. So whatever our next workflow is, is the same, because, you know, why make it simple? That looks like all of them, except for, did not forget, our eye. Let's go ahead and do two sides. We're going to make them go up and plenty on down. Cool. Now this is where I'm really hoping it works. I'm going to group these. That's dumb. Oh my god. Uh, we'll play between split face and split body. 
sure split face first. No, it's gonna be split body. It's gonna take all day. Okay, cool. I like that. Splitting tool. That looks good. Go ahead and keep it on extend just because we could have probably just used that plane, but I like to visualize with the thing. And of course, we can't select multiple, can we? Oh, we can. Uh -huh. You can see that if this was just a small object, whatever that trim plane was, if we had that checkbox, it would extend it, which is it's kind of weird how it's choosing to do it now, but no complaints from me. All right. And let's take that. Okay, crush fingers. Did it do it? Trim might have been more efficient, but let's see what we got. Okay, it did something. Made a big mess. Um, okay, well. See, it should be. Looks mostly safe. I'm going to right click, remove, not delete, never delete. Do we forget to split this one? Is this one we repaired? No, that was this one. Okay, let's try split face and do it just kind of laboriously. But can we isolate you? And trim plane, please. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. Split body. This one, using this one, beats, beats me. I don't know. I'm going to put that back there. Maybe I was just not clicking it. It's completely possible. Oh, and isolate. Um, let's trim. This. I think I got it to work with split body also. You. Yes. Okay, looks promising. Okay, we'll remove that. Okay, it's got a full clip, great. And then we'll. Body you, not bad. Using you, great. Remove. Whatever. Um. Okay. Now, let's see if we can cut this using these. Ooh, that was a bad button to click. Okay, let's go back in time. I think because they're not going through surfaces like to like really go past things before. Um, this might blow it up on the other end though. I'm gonna save this. Now I really f***ed up, okay. This is a bit of a puzzle. Split you using. And just gonna remove anything that is hidden. Okay, gonna hide that sketch. Get a little. God, I hope this is what you wanted. Um, if not, we can look at it again, of course. Okay, I'm gonna save this. This is like a good step. And now the magic should be stitch. Can I select them all? Ho oh. ho. Let's make that, I don't know. Oh, I forgot it does this. So it's calling all of that one body. I think that's a little silly. What about that? Is that realistic? Sure, I'm gonna make sure I'm selecting the surface, not the edges. One, two, three. One, two, three. Is there a hotkey for this? No. Oh, cool. So now they're solid. Look at that. 
That is what you wanted, I'm pretty sure. It's like a Nautilus pie. Boy, making this is going to be a real uh, fun time. You know what they remind me of are like, uh, is it, they're called pan letters, where you cut out the wiggly part of the letter, like an extrusion. I bet you have a better idea though. Make sure we take the inside of that cylinder too. Oh, you're not going to let me? Rude. Uh, maybe something went squirrely there. Oh no! Hmm. Let's just do it again. I mean, we could go back into history and find it, but... Somehow, I must have deleted it on accident. I'm sorry. I was being so careful. How about now? All right. Stitch. Oh, that's not how that works. Okay. I messed up the timeline. Oh. Been a long day. Okay. Okay. So the last thing I want to do was prove that this will save, and then you should be able to change this plane. Call this height. Oh boy. Can't send that back to you like that. There we go. And if we make this that feature, we make this one, it should work. And you could sneak up on that till it's something that makes sense. Um, cool, they're bodies. Uh, um, Maybe you could uh, get these all CNC machined out of steel and weld them on there. That sounds like fun. All right. Um, I hope that worked. I'll talk to you soon. And I'll send this along uh, back to you. Okay. Ciao. Hey, look at this. It's scaled right.